Good morning. It's the first day in Tennessee. I have a lot of cleanup work to do. And I still need to plug in my water. Um, start screwing around with the desk. Oh, um, this is what we set up for the desk currently. Kind of the same thing as uh, in Alabama. Uh, and I'll just make it work until we can figure out what the hell we're gonna do with my case and how we're gonna get my computer to fit in this space. I'm sure it'll go here somewhere, but I'm not sure yet. And then I'm a bunch of mess over here I need to clean up. Um, I got a new bed so that this will fit to the top, hopefully. It is, um, currently it's expanding. I don't know what kind of technology it uses, but it comes to you like folded up and decompressed and you have to wait um, like one or two days before you can sleep on it. And it kind of just decompresses slowly um, or expands, excuse me. Uh, if I have any scientists um, in the YouTube comment section, you guys tell me. So I just finished cleaning this little area here. Uh, I have no place for my shoes yet. I need to go get a bin or something for them and then I'll just store them underneath the RV. I don't have that yet. Um, I think I'm gonna take a shower and change and then um, we're gonna head to a department store of some sort around here and pick up some, some bolts or something that I can fix my mounts. Cause currently these, both these monitor mounts are um, not very well screwed in. But I show you on the back here. These little things need nuts on them because they don't really stay there very, very good. It's still a little messy. Look, you can, you can see the camera and the mirror a little bit, maybe. There's Junior. I got lazy and I did not record my second day. Good morning. It is day three in Tennessee. Um, we came down here to survey some land we were thinking about buying and um, all our options. We're going trash. So we're going to make breakfast really quick. And then I think we're going to go get some laundry done. All right, so my breakfast. Is going to be three of these, I think. Oh 
All right. Next thing you want to do after you have your three eggs in the thingy, just put it in the thingy, then close the thingy, and then set it to uh, um, a minute's fine. You basically want to cook it for a minute and then plus 30 seconds for each egg that's in there. So I have three eggs in there, so I'm going to do... Uh, um, Eggs. Yo. All right, so I just got back from doing all the laundry. I've made a mess. All right, so we have to do the dishes. I'm gonna clean the kitchen first and then we're gonna move on to that. And then we're gonna make my bed. All right, so I finished the kitchen. This is what it looks like now. I had to do a bit of sweeping because there was stuff all over the floor. But um, the dishes seem to be drying well, which is nice. And the uh, I put some soap in the grease trap. And I'll pour that out later, I guess. Yo. So the amount of space that I have for clothes is this is basically just sweatshirts. So there's this thing, and I'll probably move those up. And then there's three drawers about this size all the way down. And then there's this drawer. Not very much space. The closet <laughs> is a good size, don't get me wrong. But it has all my dirty laundry in it, which I'll fix. And um, my, it, I almost feel like my button ups here that I'm hanging up would be better off just laying down somewhere. Because um, they cover a lot of the surface area of the closet, so. Yo. All right, so another challenge that comes with owning this RV is the bed raising thing is cool, right? But when I raise the bed, everything that's sitting on top of it, kind of like the pillows there, don't fit up there. So right now, one of my main challenges is to figure out if I can put the bed together and still raise it, or if I have to, every time I want to move, take everything off the bed, fold it up, put it somewhere while I'm traveling, which is what I'm gonna try to avoid. So um, I'm gonna put everything on the bed and see how thick it is. Um, and hopefully I'll just have to take the pillows off and not have to take uh, like the comforter or anything like that off, but we'll see. All right, so my current plan of attack is to attempt to put fit this on there. And if it can't fit, then we'll just put this on there, but I'm gonna put this on there and then put this on top of it and see how thick it is. Um, cause there is a little bit of a, this is how far up it needs to go. I don't know if that hole is visible. That's how far up it needs to go. So there's a good gap here, but I think the majority of the bed, like I'm pretty sure the bed is going to be the thing that takes it up. Um, and it won't be able to fit sheets on it, but hopefully that's not the case. All right. So I put it on wrong the first time. So let's try this again.
All oh, right, Jesus, step one done. <clears throat> oh. 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 oh my God, I'm dying. All right, now we have to put this thing on it. Okay, sure, we'll take it. But, 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 oh god, oh god, it's so far down. Oh, oh, oh. What? Wow. We're back. So uh, I sorted all the clothes off the bed. I'll put them in here. Um, shirts there, and then socks and everything else, and then. I folded all my sweatshirts. They're definitely folded. The screen's just lagging. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, and then there's pants. Eh. All right, I've got this finished up. I really didn't do much to it besides bag up the dirty laundry and take out the, the folded clothes that were back underneath there so I could actually remember that they existed. Um, and then I'm gonna take, there's some ducks on the floor there and some vacuum pieces. Gotta find a place for that. And then there's a Chromebook. Um, and I think they're going to go in that bottom drawer because there's not much else I can really fit down there because for some reason it doesn't come all the way open so I can't really get a lot in there unless it was clothes and I don't have that much clothes. So I think I'm just going to stick those down there. Um, and then there's a big comfy like snuggy thing inside this bag and I think I'm going to wrap it around the passenger's chair so that um, Junior has a comfy back cushion. I know I look super lifeless right now and it's because I've gotten very little sleep. I know, feel really bad for me, please. I'm just alone. Why?